The Minnesota Department of Health has a warning about the rising number of deaths related to opioid and alcohol abuse, as well as suicides. Those alarming numbers continue a steady climb upward. Fox 9's Paul Bloom live in Minneapolis with more tonight, including some new legislation, Paul, on the move at the Capitol to tackle at least some of the issues at play here. There is some hope on the horizon, at least as it relates specifically to the opioid epidemic. A bill moving through the House is on the floor at the state capitol at this very minute. We expect a vote sometime this evening. This has the Commissioner of Health issued basically what could be referred to as a call to action today, saying you got to strengthen communities in order to tackle these difficult generational health issues. This, this does not discriminate. Uh, overdose does not discriminate. Suicide does not discriminate. Alcohol-related uh, deaths does not discriminate. It's affecting every group uh, across uh, Minnesota. Levels of anxiety and Tim Walsh is a psychologist and vice president at Minnesota Adult and Teen Challenge. That organization, as some of you know, treats clients with substance use and mental health needs. Tim calls the situation an yeah. epidemic, referring to these latest Department of Health statistics as, quote, deaths of despair. Now here are the latest numbers from MDH from 2017. All of these numbers on a steady upward trend. 422 opioid related deaths across Minnesota. Some 636 from alcohol. Another 783 by suicide. And today we met one young man who easily could have been amongst these stats, but he is one of the lucky ones after surviving a heroin overdose. Yeah, it was a Narcan situation. The police were called to the scene and then they brought me back. And it was that uh, decision, you know, that kind of led me to realize that I needed to get help. That's a sad thing, you know. Austin Castle's now been sober some 18 months and wants to, wants to use his difficult journey to help others. It just so happens that legislation is on the move at the Capitol today, specifically targeting the state's opioid crisis. One of the things it does do is forces the pharmaceutical companies to pay a registration fee to sell those potentially addictive painkillers in the state, with that money going to assist in preventive education and treatment efforts. The bill hopes to raise some $20 million for those opioid efforts. We'll, of course, have the latest on that vote coming up for you tonight at 9 o'clock. We're live in Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.